All right, so uh, I wanted to shoot this last video for the evening, for the night, before I shut it down. I'm home from uh, uh, San Diego Rocket Con 2023. Um, very, very positive, very, very good, good uh, uh, show. Um, it went very well for me. I did better than expected, which is always good. Um, I went in with. I don't want to say low expectations because I only say that because it's my first show. I didn't know what to expect. I didn't know how people were going to react to my art. Um, but uh, it, it went very well, very well, um, especially the second day. Second day was phenomenal compared to the first day. First day was first day was good. Made some sales, made made a good, good amount of sales. Um, but second day, man, second day was phenomenal. Uh, uh, met a lot more people. I had people come back that bought things from Saturday or people that stopped by the, the, the table on Saturday came by today and bought stuff or bought more. I actually, the last customer I had for today, she came through with her dad yesterday. She, uh, she's a young aspiring artist. Can't remember her name. I'm sorry, but, um, talked to her dad, talked to her very shy, but she's, she's very nice, very nice, sweet young lady. Uh, she showed me her sketchbook. I gave her some pointers, some tips. I told her, keep practicing, you know, uh, keep keep working, keep drawing. She's doing a great job. Um, she's going to be a great artist one day. She already is a great great artist, but she's going get, to get even more better. Um, but uh, let me take my glasses off. The glare is killing me. But, um, yeah, she, she uh, I gave her some encouragement. She came, she actually came back. She came to the table. I was shutting the table down. I was, we were closing. Pretty much everybody was closing everything down. It was like last call for alcohol. You still had people coming up wanting to get uh, stuff, stuff, pick up stuff and buy stuff. So she came by the table. I was breaking stuff down. She asked me uh, what stickers I had. Um, I let her know pretty much, you know, this is what I had left. Uh, she wanted to get a couple things. You know, I gave her uh, the two she wanted. Plus, I threw in probably like three more stickers just for the fact she came up and she came back at the last minute and she wanted to support. So I, I was more than happy to uh, throw her in some extra stickers. So that made her day. She was happy. And again, I told her to uh, keep doing her thing, keep uh, keep working on her art. So, um, yeah, so the day ended up really, the day ended off really good. Um, um, especially since this was my first show, uh, it, it it, it went like I said. It went went better than expected. So, um, uh, yeah, it was a lot to take in. Uh, just being in the being in the atmosphere, being around you know like like minded people, comics fans, pop culture fans, sci fi fans. Sold a fair amount of fair amount of art. You know, it was really good. Um, I encourage uh, other artists or people out there if you have things you artwork you want to sell try to go to a lot of these local cons local cons are a lot better right now i talked to a lot of people that gave me feedback on that and we all whether it was people that were there um or people that were were like exhibitors we we talked about um the the, the crowd and how it felt as as compared to like something like more corporate uh and more hollywood like uh, San Diego Comic Con, which don't get me wrong, San Diego Comic Con is great, but San, San Diego Comic Con now is an event that a lot of people just kind of like they feel that they can't be a part of because whether it's the the money you got to spend or just you know the the huge uh, phenomenon of it. So some people like going to smaller cons; they feel that they can you know they can get in there, they can talk to people. They it's it's more of a a, a, a cozier atmosphere. That it's it's more they feel they can you know they can they can relate. It's, I, I'm trying to think of the word I'm, I'm, I'm looking for. Uh, um, uh, yeah, but I think you know what I mean. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's more, they can go in there, they can talk to people, they can be in there and not feel like they're overwhelmed by a big crowd of people, a lot of stuff going on. And they're kind of like, you know, deer in the headlights trying to figure out what they want to do, but it's really good atmosphere, really good, uh, people, um, met a lot of good people. I, you know, <laughs> got, got some people on my email list, um, so I did uh, get some uh, people on my email email list. Um, what else? Uh, uh, I sold a, a limited edition print, which um, hey, that was great. And uh, I sold a limited edition print, and then there were a few things that were last minute pieces that I threw in. I sold a lot of these uh, eleven eight and eight and a half by eleven prints of um, one of my zombie pieces, uh, the zombie that's like uh, coming out of the grave. Um, and I had a, it was, it was a last minute print edition, 
uh, that I added because, but the thing is I uh, did it in black and white and people loved it. I loved it that way. That's why I did it. And I figured people would, would like that better than just a color version. Cause it just looking at it in black and white, it just, it, 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 it gives you this, this uh, black and white movie type of feel. But yeah, but anyway, people loved it. And uh, it was a great feeling to know that um, I made the right choice in making that. And then I sold a, a limited edition. It's not even, I, don't even, I shouldn't even be saying a limited edition uh, poster. It's actually a variant poster. Um, I made two, two different, two separate versions of my zombie head poster. Um, I wanted to uh, see how I had an idea of something. I wanted something different. So I did one of, he had, there's a zombie, there's a version of it with the zombie, the zombie head. He has uh, blood all over his face and it looks like, you know, he had a, he bit some money um he's somewhere a lot of blood all over all over his face and chin and stuff then i did another one i wanted it to be more of like a like a really type of spooky kind of vibe i can't can't think of the words i want to uh how i want to describe it but sort of like the the the, the colors that i use were like orange it's an orange and a like a, a magenta um and it's sort of like i wanted it to be sort of like real spectral like you're looking in a graveyard and if you happen just to see like this this zombie kind of ghoul coming at you and it was just i wanted it to be real 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 uh real uh um eerie type of eerie feeling to it but uh that i just had a, I, had a, I had an idea those two pieces would be something people would be interested in and lo and behold uh i had a customer that came through he loved it he even had me um put a quote on there i wrote this quote from uh i can't remember the the, the guy that did it and I can't remember the quote right now, but yeah, he had me put a, had me right on there. And um, this is one of the things I learned because I wasn't expecting to actually, I, I wasn't expecting for people to want me to sign sign anything this weekend. So out of all the Sharpies that I have, I have a million Sharpies in my house. I did not bring one Sharpie with me and I was caught off guard. And usually I try to cover all the bases, but I did not have one Sharpie on me. We were lucky enough to... Um, there was a lady, uh, an independent uh, comic book artist and publisher. Um, she was in one of the booths around the way. Um, she has her own book. Uh, uh, much love to her. Thanks for the for the help. She lent us a Sharpie of hers, and I was able to use the Sharpie. And I signed, I did his little, uh, I did his, his, uh, his quote. I wrote it on there. I also signed, I think he bought a couple other posters. He came back and bought a couple other posters. I signed those. As a couple other people wanted me to sign, I, had, I signed some prints. Um, so that was a really good feeling for people to actually, you know, want my, you know, want me to sign sign my artwork, which is very cool, very cool. I loved it. Um, uh, what else? Uh, yeah, it was a great experience. I, I, like I was saying, going back, because um, I got on a tangent, going back to what I was saying, I recommend uh, other uh, indie artists to do that, get the experience of going in and doing it, because it's, it's a very good experience for you. I'm going to make another video uh, just recapping um, uh, what the things that I prepped for and set up, you know, to to uh, to, to have at my table, um, especially not knowing what not knowing what to expect. You know, I tried to cover all the bases. I, I watched some other YouTube videos on, uh, you know, what to do when you're going when you're going to uh, have a booth or a table at Artist Alley. So, um. Yeah, it was, it was overall, it was a really good experience. Oh, yeah, thanks to uh, Chase um, from TC Rockets. I, I believe that's the name of the comic shop. And also uh, Chase is the organizer of uh, SD Rocket Con. Thanks a lot for having me, bro. I appreciate it. Um, giving me the opportunity to be there. Uh, I was supposed to be there in 2020, but as we all know, we know what happened in 2020. COVID happened, so I was able to come back a couple years later, be in there. Um, hopefully, I don't look too sleepy. I'm a little sleepy right now, but uh, anyway, I wanted to do this video. Um, but yeah, great experience. Uh, but like I said, you know, you, there's just little things that, you know, uh, you, um, you try to make sure you take care of you before you go, but you know, some things, some things happen, you know, you don't, you, you can't, uh, uh, predict everything or you can't, um, can't cover all the bases sometimes anyway, but, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I just wanted to, like I said, do this video, uh, capping off uh, San Diego Rocket Con 2023 for the year. And um, 
We'll see what happens next year. I definitely um up for doing it again. Um, uh, it's definitely no joke. We prepping for these shows and these people that do this all the time. Ooh, man, because you know the few things I had, I was smart. I kept my volume down and I was able to you know really, I was, I I, I concentrated on stickers, prints and posters and just what I had was a lot. You know, just me doing, running around, doing what I was doing. So I see all these people with all these pins and buttons and and T-shirts and all this other stuff. It's like, man, thumbs up. Thumb, you know, you got my you, you got my utmost respect. Because there's a lot. Of, I saw a lot of people unpacking and packing a lot of stuff. So anyway, um, I'm going to get up out of here. But uh, yeah, so uh, uh, so another ending to... Um, a good day, uh, two good days of uh, uh, San Diego Rocket Con 2023. And um, yeah, I want to close off on this video. Say thanks again to everybody that stopped by my booth and supported me. I'm definitely going to be getting in contact with everybody on the list. Um, and uh, I'll be contacting you, letting you know um, on some of the new stuff that's coming out really, really soon. Uh, we talked about some of the things I had coming up, some projects. Yeah, I talked to some people about, you know, a certain project that I got that I'm working on. I'm not going to talk about that right now, but I'm going to get back to work on that because, you know, I, I, I shut everything down for this last couple of weeks trying to get this show ready, get everything ready for this show. I haven't been doing any drawing, any serious artwork because I was like, I got to focus on this. I don't want to get distracted. So, yeah, so now I'm going to be back on on my art, on, on my art grind, getting things going. And um, uh, I got this piece. Um, I'm really uh, anxious to... Uh, uh, get done and I mentioned it to some of the people at the show so I'm anxious for other people to see it get the feedback so I'm gonna get out of here I've been on here too long it's been a long day it's been a long weekend it's been a long month pre preparing for this uh this is a uh, touring with TJD graphics I'm out for the night peace love I'm gone see ya